One of the enforcers tried to stop this motorcycle. At first, he didn't stop. Why does Daddy have a helmet, but the three children are completely unprotected? And of course, he's wearing slippers. You wouldn't expect anything else. If only he saw the video where the lady motorcycle rider hit a pedestrian, the child fell down, smashed her head against the floor. Maybe he would really think twice about this. They're advising the rider he cannot continue like that, so he wants to put them in a tricycle. Just park the bike somewhere legal for now. But saying that, he just loaded them into a car. So, huh, I don't know. Good morning everyone, MMDA back on the road. Right now they're in Color Open City, issuing tickets to illegally parked vehicles. Someone has even parked a food trailer here. There's no plate attached, so I'm not sure what they can do with that one. And you'll see the enforcers are already starting to write out tickets to all of these parked vehicles considered to be illegally parked. You'll notice a lot of school children walking in the road. Why? Many of the sidewalks became VIP parking. So you see the enforcers are writing out tickets and if there's no drivers, they'll be towed away. There's another rider over there that was apprehended, driving in slippers, no crash helmet, pointing, I'm just going nearby. If it's so nearby, why didn't you walk? And based on the body language of the driver, I think he's not going to be able to show a license. Let's see. And there you go, I just heard the enforcer tell Bong that the driver doesn't have a license. So he's calling for the tow truck now. And there's the towing crew now. Just waiting for the enforcer to finish the paperwork and he'll take it over to the tow truck. This vehicle doesn't have a license plate on the back. I wonder about the front. It looks like most of these houses have garages, but some of them have been converted to living spaces. That might be why they're outside on the road. Further along, you can see more vehicles obstructing the sidewalk. Actually, on both sides of the street, unfortunately. That's really why all the school children are forced to walk in the road. And further along, the ticketing continues. And I'm not sure what happened, but I can see that a motorcycle has fallen down over there. And I can see the sidewalk clearing team over there. They just asked them if they can remove this from the sidewalk. Let's see. I don't know if they will. It's not just cars that are parked on the sidewalk. It's also motorcycles. So same as always. Issue a ticket. If there's no driver, tow it away. This is a common complaint from people. Abandoned sidecars that obstruct the sidewalk, the road. Anyway, the clearing team are going to load that onto the truck now. Sometimes people will go to the dumping area, they'll coordinate with the SCOG team, sign a form that says they won't obstruct the road or sidewalk anymore, and then get it back. But not always. I just don't know how people could do this and then look out the window and see all the little school children walking in the road. Why do you have to obstruct the sidewalk? If you want to illegally park in the road, that's your choice. But why make it harder for the school children who just want to use the sidewalk? And across the road, they flagged down that rider, substandard helmet, slippers, 3,500 pesos if they put both violations on the ticket. And there goes one of the vehicles now, taken by the tow truck to Tamana in Marikina City. And over here, you'll see another vehicle obstructing the sidewalk, plus they're not allowing parking on the road. So double whammy, kind of. Tow truck just hooking up now at the back. And if we walk back a little bit further, you can see another vehicle picked up that was parked on the sidewalk. So they already loaded it on the tow truck. Here's another vehicle going up now. No parking allowed both sides, according to the MMDA. Plus it's parked on a corner. If you hear the beeping in the background, that's just the tow trucks. They do honk to alert people. Look, there's an Ancas rider there, no crash helmet. Seems like he's hesitant to stop, so other enforcers will offer assistance. Let me guess, there's a helmet in the back. Yep. Sayang, 1,500. Just for not putting the helmet on. So that one was already picked up. And now the next tow truck is getting into position. 
to pick this one off the side wall. Again, I just want to show you what happens with the children, the mothers, all walking in the road because of the sidewalk obstructions. There goes another vehicle being pulled by the tow truck and they just lifted up that white one. I can't remember if I already showed that this one was picked up. If I did, I apologize, but there's another vehicle on the tow truck. The driver of that little truck already took his ticket and it's leaving now. But what I noticed is, look, there's also an artificial barrier on the sidewalk. Why do people think the sidewalk is an extension of their home? That's a public space for pedestrians. Okay, it looks like they're talking to someone about this. Trying to work out if they can do something about it. I don't know. I don't think they have anything they can connect to this. And you want to know the crazy thing about this food trailer? Look behind. They bolted their gas canister into the sidewalk. They're just speaking to the lady now. She said it's her daughter's business. They asked her, don't you know, it's not allowed to park here. They were planning to tow this, but then they saw the power, gas and water connections. And the SCOG team don't feel confident in messing with that, especially the gas. So, and the sidewalk clearing team also asked them to remove this basketball hoop that's obstructing the sidewalk. There was a barangay captain in Manila City recently. He made a post complaining about the MMDA clearing a basketball court and then some food carts and other stuff that was considered to be obstructions. That's the thing, a lot of people get angry and they act like the road was really designed to be used for vendors, parking, basketball, everything. And that motorcycle rider was apprehended now. Unfortunately, no crash helmet, the lady on the back. They're writing out a ticket over here for no crash helmet. You might be saying, but they're both wearing helmets. Yeah, they put it on after they were flagged down. So they had the helmet, just didn't want to wear it. And the team are now looking at these two huge trucks parked on the sidewalk, no drivers inside. I don't know why, but you see a lot of barangay patrols from Manila City sitting in Quezon City in Calaocan. And most of the time, they appear to be abandoned. The gentleman here just said there's no driver, only helpers, or I'm not sure what the correct word is. If there's no driver with a license to take a ticket and move it, that's a big problem. So unfortunately, since there's no driver, they already hooked up the tow bar. They're also checking the ORCR because the plate on the back is improvised. Maybe the original was confiscated. See some of the lights are damaged and problems like that also. Can you remember when the people were in the streets shouting, don't allow the modernized Jeeps. The minimum fare is going to be 25, 30, 35 peso. And then the modernized Jeeps have been here for years already. And then it was just one or two pesos more than the regular Jeep. But you have better safety, better comfort, air conditioning. Yeah, that's the truth. Those people that don't want to modernize are the ones that are collecting so much boundary from the poor drivers. They're keeping the drivers poor and keeping themselves rich. They just flagged down this rider, both the driver, passenger, no crash helmet. The driver did hand over their license immediately. So they're just writing out the ticket. You can also see that silver car might be obstructing the sidewalk behind the enforcer here. The sidewalk became a place to cage dogs. That cage looks way too small for the size of the dog. Vulcanizing stuff, junk, that's the way they do it. It's like an extension of the home, an extension of the business. I just don't know why people get dogs and then they just keep them in tiny cages all day. Napaliwanag ko sa'yo, para hindi tayo paulit-ulit. O, oh, sige. Ang bangketa, pag umay-ari ng gobyerno, kahit na sabihin natin balit yan, ninalakaran ng tao yan. Wala po kayong authority na gawin sa panghanap buhay ang bangketa dahil sa gobyerno po yan. Vulcanizing kayo, may mga chemicals. Awang problema na dahil, sir. Awang problema na. Okay, so kayo, pakialis siya po yan ngayon. Kasi lagi na lang eh. They just flagged down this rider. Unfortunately, daddy has substandard helmet. Mummy has no helmet. And there's a child squeeze between them. Obviously, the child has no helmet either. The rider invested in a really nice box. Why didn't he invest in helmets for his family? It's overloaded anyway, but at least, come on, helmets. There's another car over here that was picked up for illegal parking. 
there are lots of signs on this road that say no parking both sides Mabuhai Lane further along they picked up this one for the same reason illegal parking I was a little bit disappointed by certain gentlemen standing nearby accusing MMDA of stuff when really they themselves and the agency they work for should know better that it's not allowed to park here when they saw this rider going past he had his helmet balanced on top of his head like a mushroom and the other problem was driving in slippers he has a really nice helmet but he just doesn't want to wear it properly that's the problem the clearing team asked the lady if she owns this she said yes and they were saying can you take it off the sidewalk she was saying yeah okay okay and then said okay can you can you do it now yeah 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 just kept saying yeah not doing anything so many cockroaches running out from underneath also the lady could move it and she has people here that could help her just being lazy I guess